Hello, YouTube has a goal, MacMan here, and you guys might be looking at my screen right now and be like, what the heck, how do you do that? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, so yeah, I've switched up my desktop a bit, I've learned some new tricks, um, done a lot of reviewing and searching and stuff. Um, you might have seen some of my earlier videos, most of the stuff is from videos that I've done, but I just kind of put them all together and uh, I got this. So anyways, um, start off, we'll start off at the clock here. Um, I did make a video on this quite a while ago. Um, this is a Geek Tool, uh, the application is Geek Tool, and it allows you to do different things, um, but pretty much I'll have the link to the to the uh, video that I showed you how to do this and it's pretty much an application right here and you get all these shells and you drag these shells or an image or a file and then you have this this um, box right here with properties and you have to there's different commands so each command does a different thing um, you can then change the font and stuff it's quite easy um, so that's really cool so I got my time that is a live time so if you want to know how to do that the link will be in the description don't forget to check that out um, next uh, is this Apple logo right up in the um, menu bar um, that is also an application that I used um, well it's also geek tool um, as I meant to say, um, it's just an image. What I did was drag an image um, document onto here, and then I downloaded this download file. And then what I did was I just selected the image um, from that file I downloaded. I uh, will have that file downloaded in the description, hopefully. And then pretty much I just aligned it and everything and made it bigger. It is kind of annoying though because let me just show you. If I were to open up uh, a Firefox window, as you can see, it kind of covers up my close and minimize. Um, you could put the dock to the left side of your screen. That way the window gets pushed over a bit. But it doesn't really make a big deal. Like I can still minimize it, no problem. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh that's that. Uh, next is this dock you may see on the right side of my screen kind of looks like Windows 7 um, this is an application I just did a review on it's my uh, I did a review the video before this one I did a review on it it's called drag thing um, yeah have it open already right now but pretty much you can add docs um, if I were to hit new dock as you can see I, I can add this dock and then I can I can do you should just go look at my uh, previous video to see all the stuff you can do you can drag applications into it um, let me just do this here. Uh, let's, let's say I want to drag, drag and peggle. I can drag and peggle. You can customize completely icon size, spacing between icons. You can also make it, this is really cool. I used to do this. Um, I did this in my earlier video. I can make this into um, a drawer. Um, so as you can see, it just hides into the side of my screen. I drag my cursor over there and it pops out. I can do that with this one too, but I kind of just like it there. Um, so that's a really nice feature to have. Um, and then to remove the dock, you can just hit remove dock, remove, and you're back to normal. Um, then also if you want this um, desktop background, uh, I will have the download link for that too. And also, I guess I could add this. This might look a bit, oops, a bit better also. I had an application on this. Whoa. Um, how to make your dock turn black. As you can see, there's a bit of trouble right over here by the um, flag. Um, but whatever. Um, so you can also make your your uh, menu bar black. I do have a video on that too. I have a video on every single application I've just showed you. Except um, this Apple logo. But pretty much, guys, um, that's it. I will have the links to all these in the description. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video of customization. I will be posting up two videos after this video. I'll be showing you how to get Total Finder, which is like an extension to your Finder where you can have tabs, things like that. Um, I will also have some other applications that I'll be trying to put up tonight. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Peace.